points for the Wildcats. There is her qualifying time from yesterday. She has run 50 point before, but Dan O'Brien, I'm not certain if she is capable of, of getting that kind of a performance together here. Well, Coach Edric Floreal said she's finally believing that she can run these fast times by herself. She gets more confident every week, but when you look at her training partners, Dwight, here you see, you see the lineup, 2016 Olympian, 2018 SEC Indoor Champion, World Under 20 record holder, but you take a look at her training partners, Corey Carter, Kenny Harrison, Omar McLeod. Talk, talk about a group of great athletes to be training with. You'll see if she learned a lesson from Michael Norman. Sharika Barnett of Florida, who ran a personal best to get into this final, will be out there in lane number six, has the fourth fastest time in the country this year. And if she goes out fast, that will be helpful for Sydney McLaughlin, who is on her inside. That's where Michael Norman was seated, seated in lane five when he just set the world record in the men's 400 meters. Now the time to beat 50.34, which just happens to be the new collegiate record in the women's 400. Got Sydney McLaughlin, such a popular athlete, Dwight. She's got over a half a million social media followers, and she's very engaging. And everybody, all those half a million people, I'm sure, are watching to see how she'll do today. Freshman from Den Allen, New Jersey, knows exactly what she needs to do. That's the advantage of being in the second section. And the key is to try and get that break the way Kendall Ellis did in section one. But Sharika Barnett not about to give it up without a fight. But McLaughlin does get the inside line. Now it's a matter of that 400 meter hurdle strength that she has. Can she turn that 23.71 first 200 into a collegiate record? That's what she needs if she wants the 10 points. It's McLaughlin against the clock and the collegiate record holder. Does she have enough? And she just misses it by two one hundredths of a second. She's under the old collegiate record, but she will end up second in this 400 meter final, 50-36. She loses to Kendall Ellis, who ran 50-34, but that's a world junior record for Sydney McLaughlin. But you know, Dan, being a competitor, that's not gonna make her happy. No, it certainly is not. It's just the effort. This 13th all time in the world in this run. But she does such a great job of front side running mechanics. Look at the posture, look at the arm swing. She's using her arms to get her knees up. She worked so hard in that last 100 meters. And when you work that hard, you go out hard and you work that hard in the last lap, you want to look up and see that you won the race.